Prepare to be both riveted and horrified as we delve into the story of Timothy Treadwell, also known as the Grizzly Man, and his deadly encounter with a powerful grizzly bear in Cape May National Park. With heart-stopping footage that will leave you breathless, we explore the harrowing events that led to Treadwell's tragic end in the park, home to 3,000 of Alaska's 35,000 grizzlies. Brace yourself for an emotional roller coaster as we uncover the terrifying truth about one man's misguided attempt to live in the wild. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with more shocking stories like this. Treadwell camped on a salmon stream that fall bears frequented. They attended the park later than usual when bears are trying to gain weight for winter. Lack of food made the bears more aggressive that fall. But Treadwell sought a loving female brown bear he worried about. Treadwell's summer bear had hibernated, and new bears from other parts of the park were migrating in. The final footage Treadwell recorded before his death shows a bear repeatedly diving into the river. The bear is looking for a dead fish. In the documentary Grizzly Man, Treadwell may have captured the grizzly that murdered him. Treadwell called a Malibu co-worker at noon on Sunday, October 5, 2003, by satellite phone. He ever mentioned bears. On Monday, October 6, Andrew Airways air taxi pilot Willie Fulton landed at Caffley Lake at 2 p.m. as planned, but a large brown bear approached him. Willie said the morning was cloudy and rainy. After landing, Willie called for the couple and saw Timothy shaking out the tarp, but no one answered. He notices some activity and hikes up the shore trail through the alder thicket to the camp. He feels uneasy about three-fourths up the slope. Willie says he turns around and heads back to the deep bush because something doesn't seem right. When he approaches a plane, a deadly bear he had seen on flights turns around. It slunk down the trail with its head down. Willie then flies over the campsite 15 to 20 times to scare the bear away and spots the same animal eating a human ribcage. But the bear feeds faster each time he passes over the camp. Willie then contacts four park rangers, including Ranger Ellis, to learn what transpired. The four exited the plane and slowly walked up the lake trail, screaming to alert survivors and bears. One ranger turned to see an adult bear approaching from 20 feet distance. They screamed, thinking the bear would leave. Ranger Ellis, armed with a pistol, fired with the other shotgun-wielding rangers. They found buried human bones near the campsite. The tents were gear and sleeping tents, fallen and tattered. No evidence existed that the victims were removed from the main tent. The large tent was surrounded by mud, grass, and sticks. After shifting earth, Ranger Ellis saw fingers and an arm. This was the park's first bear-related death in 85 years. A scene camera recorded the incident. Authorities said a six-minute recording of bear number 141 killing Treadwell was all sounds and cries. The recording starts with Amy's voice. She seems surprised and wonders if it's still out there. Amy either reflexively turned on the camera or Timothy told her to. The attack was underway when the camera turned on. Amy crying nearby scares the bear away. She shouts stop, go away, as a frying pan hits the bear's skull, and Timothy moans. The bear released Timothy's head and grabbed him by the upper thigh at this point. Timothy yells, Amy, go away, get away, as Amy screams over the storm. Timothy wanted to protect Amy since he knew he would die. The bear is almost completely silent, contrary to what is depicted in movies. Just low grunts and occasional groans add to the scene's horror. Timothy is being taken into the jungle away from the camp by the bear while the screaming fades. The tragic end of Timothy Treadwell's life serves as a haunting reminder of the unpredictable nature of wildlife. The gruesome details of his attack by grizzly bear 141 in Cape May National Park are not for the faint-hearted. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more terrifying real-life stories.